Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, I figured I'm sitting here on board. Why not make a video, right? Why not have a little fun with it? So, um, as I told you guys, I've got a list of um, topics that I kind of wanted to go through. The list right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to go like this with my hand and randomly pick one. So ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, third from the bottom. Ah, uh, okay. This one's, um, kind of came from my brother. It's, um, why can't you just stay gay? Why I won't stay a lesbian? Um, so we're going to talk about this a little bit. Um, we explain two versions of this conversation that we're going to basically have right now. Why can't I stay gay? A lot of people know that I used to be bisexual. I'm noticing a lot more that my reasons for believing that I was bisexual had more to do with the fact that I was jealous of the way men looked, not really about the fact that I wanted to be with a man. So I'm now discovering that a lot more. I talk about it in therapy and I'm getting better to understand why I thought that I was attracted to men. The reason why, so I was having a conversation with my brother, and he was like, if you like men, why can't you just stay a girl and date a guy and then you be a straight girl? It really has nothing to do with that. I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this. I am a guy. It's sort of like any of you guys out there, men, women, you're born into your body and you believe that you are who you are. But think of it this way. What if you were born girls with a penis or, you know, no chest, things like that, things that make you a woman? Gentlemen, what if you were born with a vagina or breasts or things like that? How would you feel? What if you were in my situation? I'm a guy and I was born with female body parts. What would you do? That would suck, right? So, my reasoning for why I can't stay in this situation is the fact that this isn't who I am. I can't stay happy, or I can't stay in a situation where I'm living a lie, basically. And a lot of people don't understand, you know, her, you like guys, whatever. Yeah, I've had my moments where I've been bisexual. But, I've been bisexual in the sense that I... It was a guy who liked guys. It was never having to do with... Like I've always said that I can only like a guy as a guy. It's, it's really how it always worked. When it comes to relationships, though, I feel in my heart that I'm meant to be with a woman. I really do believe that the fact that I've thought in the past that I was attracted to women... Or I've tried... I really believe that I thought in the past that I was attracted to men because of my jealousy staring at a guy who looks the way that I was meant to be born looking, who, who I believe got lucky. So, it was basically, that's why I believe that I was bisexual. Um, so that has a little bit to do with why can't you just stay gay and why won't you just stay a lesbian. Um, I won't, or that has to do with why I won't stay straight and why I won't stay a lesbian. I won't stay as a straight female because I'm not a female, obviously. I can't like men because I'm, I'm truly not attracted to men. Um, one of, one second, um... So that would be one of my main reasons. One of my other reasons why, one of the reasons why I can't say a lesbian, yes, I'm attracted to women, I believe I'm going to spend the rest of my life with women, but I'm attracted to heterosexual women who like the man side of me. I only date women who see me as a male, because that's who I am. A lot of people don't seem to understand this. Um, they believe that the people I date are lesbians or have to be bisexual to be able to deal with the men and women side of me. Yes, I have female moments. What? trans guy doesn't what guy doesn't have feminine moments but it's about how I deal with them that makes me a true guy so that's pretty much um, one two three four five six seven eight nine that is my ninth topic on my list so we're gonna pretty much hit through all of them over the next week week and a half I may make one more video or two more videos today on topics but I've definitely got some really good ones on there and I'll keep adding to this list so, definitely, if you guys have any topics to talk about, that was one that was sent to me by someone who's not on YouTube, who's actually on Facebook, who watches my videos, and asked me to talk a little bit about that. It also is something that my brother used to say to me. If I like men, why can't I just stay a girl? I have, I can, you know, be normal. I used to hate that. But, um, it was sort of like, I've talked about this before, I was in the pool with my brother a few weeks ago, and we were talking about it, and he basically gave me that whole, you'll always be a lesbian to me, because you're a girl and you date females. And it's just sort of like, you know, if you understood what it was meant to be born in a body that doesn't feel right to you, you'd understand better. So, I mean, 
as I talked about in my last video, I'm working on a, I'm writing a book, and it really has to do with being stuck in skin that doesn't match skin that you should have. I mean, I look like a guy on my face. I have very masculine body parts. I'm, I'm a tough, pretty tough guy. I, mean, I look like a guy, I guess, but I have breasts. I have, you know, female sex organs. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> oh, sorry, I have moments like that sometimes. But, um, so yeah, that's basically where I was going with this was don't judge people based on who they date, who they hang out with, who any of that. We are, or anyone in this world is who they are because of who they are, not because of who they date or any of that. I'm a man, not because I date straight girls, not because I was once dating men, not because I once dated straight men. I'm a man because it's who I am. Okay, that's it, guys.